Last week, we started my journey through Bali at the Bliss Sanctuary for Women, a beautiful boutique villa set up just for us girls. This week, we delve a little bit deeper as my host and friend Zoe Watson showed me how she gives a little bit back to the local community, but more importantly, how you can help too. Let's have a look. My journey today is all about giving back to the local Balinese community with the owner of Bliss Sanctuary for Women, Zoe Watson. We're travelling north to Singaraja, Bali's second largest city and old colonial capital. Our first stop is the Widiyasi Orphanage, which houses over 100 students. <laughs> Having lived in Bali for more than 20 years, Margaret Barry is the founder and CEO of the Bali Children Foundation. I grew up in the 50s and I was lucky enough to go through to graduation, go to university because I was there in the time of Commonwealth scholarships and studentships. They don't have those opportunities in Indonesia, so we've created a quasi version of that. So late 2002, I became um, originally involved with Widiassi, the orphanage, and started a girls' education program there, with, supported by professional girlfriends in Australia. Now, this is called Silat. It's the self-defence sport of Indonesia and Malaysia. And it enables our children, our poor children, to be well socialised with middle class and better off children. And it gives them a much better outcome in the long run. Close by is Sharot, where Marg has set up a program called Community in the Village. So in this district, we now have about 400 kids on scholarships wow. going to uni, and that's from primary through to university. This community, when we became involved in it, had a dropout rate from school, from primary school, of about 35%. So the situation now is any community we've been in more than three years, three years or more, we'll have zero dropout rate at primary school and we're getting around 80% full graduation at high school. So this is a very good outcome. Like any bunch of school kids, it's always fun to play some games in class. Keep uh, quiet. Give applause. Give applause. Be quiet. <laughs> the whole concept behind what we do is to change the outcome. I'm not just trying to educate a few kids, teach a few kids English. I'm trying to teach a couple of thousand kids at a time, get them to university, changing their district so that we no longer have these agra agrarian poor districts. What is the relationship, Zoe, between Bali Bliss and this wonderful charity? Well, Bali Children Foundation um, came upon our radar when we were looking at sponsoring orphanages in the West, and they were already doing some work there. And being on my own doing business here, I really needed to um, work with an organisation that already knew about the local communities mm -hmm. and exactly how everything was done okay. so that we could make sure that our money went to really good causes. So we have started a humanitarian package for women who are visiting Bliss Sanctuary for Women. Uh, they can spend another 250 Australian dollars and that will actually help sponsor a primary school aged child for a year with all of their education, all of their health checks and everything throughout that and actually help the family by providing them with things like toothpaste and school clothing. So, so you then, always wanted a philanthropic absolutely. aspect to your business. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're in a, a different country and we need to give back to the community. That's, that's just a no-brainer. If you want some more information on Bliss Sanctuary for Women or the Bali Children's Foundation, take a look at the Circle website. is just going on a holiday by yourself as a woman and finding yes. somewhere where you're totally it's totally cool it's not weird yeah no it's not weird at all and I think a lot of women are givers in everything they do from mm. looking after their parents looking after mm. kids and neighbors kids and to go there and be indulged is one thing but it is a bit uncomfortable for people so to be able to give that money and say well you know yeah. what I'm actually really assisting mm. you know and as she said that woman Marg Barry was an extraordinary girl she ran a farm her, as a young woman in Gippsland and uh, yeah did this amazing work for regional kids in Bali so really she wild. She is an Australian woman to be admired. Mm. The Lots 11 of them. Yeah there are mm. there was two in there and there was actually three in there. Oh, good job. <laughs> you. You are. The you 11 o'clock news update is on the way. Stay with us. You're watching The Circle. We'll be back in a couple of minutes.